Okay, so uh, recording another DIY pedal demo. This is going to be of the Funkingosis, another circuit snippet, just like the other video I just did about two minutes ago for the Jawari. Check it out. Um, this is a Ottawa effect, envelope filter effect, um, envelope follower effect. Depends on who you talk to uh, and how much coffee they had that day. Anyways, uh, another etching done by me. Uh, did the etching in a color called Periwinkle Blue, so it's really hard to see except for the Disco Duck. Um, this is a classic uh, example of what not to do when you're building a pedal as far as uh, laying out a design. Um, I don't know what happened with me on this one. Oh, there's the dog again. Come on, come on, get out of the way. Ha. Um, I don't know, I just planned this one all wrong. So, uh, basically you can see we have the uh, 3PDT stomp switch there, uh, right in the middle of the uh, Disco Duck, a little logo-ish thing. And, uh, uh, otherwise it turned out pretty good. I think I might have left in the etching for a couple extra minutes. Um, and, let's see. That knob I just kind of threw on there. It's from an old boss. And uh, the up-down switch is really kind of not really necessary, but you'll see that. Anyways, let's get to it. Strat, fender strat, into Georgia L Cable, into Funkingosis, a.k.a. the Disco Duck. Into Georgia L Cable, finally ultimately residing in the Versatone Panaflex guitar instrument amplification system. Clean signal, uh, bridge pickup. <laughs> Close enough for shits and giggles. Alright, so effect. Very hot signal. Hot. Hot mama. Try the neck pick up here. Very bass heavy signal. Uh, and it clips a lot. Um, got to kind of dial it in. I was messing around with it with another guitar, so it's setting not exactly how I like it, but I guess that's the, uh, again, the what not to do. Let's max out that switch. There's an example of playing, uh, playing dynamics. Soft to hard. with the up switch. Doesn't do jack. Just leave it out if you build. Aiming at. At all settings, it does nothing, so. Save yourself a switch and a little bit of wire and some solder and uh, just leave it out. And here is... Panaflex there. Yeah. Half cocked wah settings. 
keep this PG-13. Now you hear there, there's a dramatic cut in the cue. So there's your low pass settings. Really useful when you're using it with the distortion before or afterwards, but it does get a little uh, little noisy there. But hey, what do you want? So pretty much the responsiveness is gone from the playing dynamics, and it's all just doing a filter for you. But this is actually a really cool effect when you're running it with the distortion. Like I said before or afterwards, doesn't really matter. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and let's give that a shot. So you can definitely see how it helps you cut through the mix, and that's why people like to use these wah pedals along with your distortion. I'll give you an example of wah before distortion. Clicky clicky, clicky clicky, clicky clicky. By the way, I always do this with your amplifier turned down or your cable pulled out slightly otherwise you get the good old pop and the bang there's the cable back in there and here we go clean times. Funk and Ghosts. Chick it, chick it, chick it out. Boom, chicka, wah, wah.